Today, you're gonna learn all about the new CSS properties of Scroll Snap. Before we begin, this video sponsors HelloSign, which offers an API that helps companies grow revenue faster by automating document workflows with a developer-friendly e-signature API that makes it simple and easy to embed, secure, and legally binding documents directly into your website. G2 Crowd says HelloSign's API is two times faster to implement than any other e-sign provider. You or your devs can send your first API call in minutes and your app certification is always free and you won't find an e-signature product with an easier path to implementation. All right, let's get back to it. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. It is currently raining like hell. I hope you can't hear it too much. Um, you probably won't. But uh, today I just want to do a real quick video about a new set of CSS properties that are specific to scroll snapping. All right, so if you know what I'm talking about, sometimes it's referred to as uh, sticky scrolling or something like that. Uh, but basically it's a CSS, a pure CSS way of uh, getting this scroll snapping to work well. Um, so let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about. Um, so right here I have an example, um, let me refresh, and this is what we're going to be doing. Um, if I scroll just a little bit, notice how it's automatically scrolling to the exact point that I want it to within these three different sections. So this is a case of vertical scroll snapping, and we're also going to make it work in a horizontal manner as well with a horizontal scroll bar. Now you may be wondering. I can you use this? Well, I can I use if you type in scroll snap at the time of recording this video, it's not very much like 21%. Um, but obviously, this is something that's going to be um, more supported going down the road because it completely just makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, it's not there for Chrome for Android. Um, but you do uh, I actually had to update my um, Chrome today. So to do that, you just go to help about Chrome and it'll tell you if your Chrome you know is not up to date and it will update automatically to version 69 they also change the UI um, as well from 68 to 69 um, so there's also a good resource here from developers.google.com which was just released um, relatively recently I believe um, all about scroll snapping and it'll give you you know a detailed kind of a you know just a, a written version of what's happening here all right so for today's question, how much RAM does your computer have? So as a designer and a developer, and mainly if you're on the design side of things, you know, speed is really important. Uh, so I'll go ahead and answer that question down below and let me know what you guys are using these days. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to make a new folder, make directory, I'm going to call it scroll snap and we'll CD into it afterwards. And then I will run code period to open Visual Studio Code, which is my code editor, it's free from Microsoft. All right, so real quickly, I'll just make a quick index.html, hit exclamation point to get some boilerplate going, and then we'll type in link and enter. And we'll link this to a file inside a CSS folder called main.css. And let's go ahead and create that real quickly. So that's gonna be a CSS folder, and then a file called main.sass. Um, and then what we'll do is write out our HTML real quick. So let me hit plus and make sure you can see this, control B to get rid of the sidebar. And this is gonna be real simple. So we're just gonna have three sections. All right, and so inside of these, we're gonna have an H3, which is gonna be um, a subtitle lives here. And then also a paragraph with um, some lorem text, lorem ipsum. We'll take this and we will paste it just twice and there we go that's all the HTML that we're going to be using to demonstrate this all right so um, coming here in our main CSS let's go ahead and just uh, define some quick body rule sets so font family of course as always I'm going to be using Montserrat um, if you don't have this installed in your machine you're going to, you're going to have to import it through Google uh, web fonts at the top and then we'll put margin zero to get rid of default margin and also um, we'll just leave this here blank for now. This is going to be our, our scroll snap container though, um, but I'm going to just demonstrate what it looks like without having scroll snap enabled. So for our height, for each section, I want each section to take up 100% width and 100% viewport height. All right, so the height, we're going to use calc, 
Well, I guess this will make sense if I do padding first. So we're just gonna make a lot of padding. I'm not making this response or anything just for this demonstration. A lot of padding on um, the uh, desktop version. So our height then, we're gonna use calc, the calc function. We're gonna say 100% viewport height minus 14 EM because we have the top and bottom taking up 7 EM, all right? And then we're gonna make this, uh, the, the type is gonna be white in all inside of all these uh, sections. And then we're gonna use the an nth of type one. So the very first section that we have, we're gonna make it a background. Um, I'm just gonna use uh, some predefined um, colors that I already had going. This is um, a green color right there, as you can see. And then I'm going to simply copy and paste the remaining two right here. So two and three, this is gonna be a blue and this is gonna be like a pink slash purple type of color. All right, so um, I'm gonna save this. We're gonna click watch SAS here and I'm also going to um, hit control B, right click on index and open with live server. Now that's showing up off on my other monitor. And this is what we have so far. All right, so let's uh, adjust the type real, uh, real quickly um, with our SAS. And that will be just two rule sets, H3. We'll make the font size 3EM. And then finally, our paragraph, we'll make the font size a little bit bigger, bigger at 1.2EM. All right, so now this is what our situation looks like. So notice, you know, uh, the regular scroll behavior here in a vertical manner uh, is, you know, it's wherever the user leaves it, right? Um, nothing sticking, nothing snapping in a sense. So here's what we can do with this, these new uh, properties. So first we have to ask ourselves, what is the container um, of the elements from which we want to snap? So we have our sections and our parent container is the body element. So we can make the, we can apply this to the body element. It doesn't always have to be the body. It could be any other uh, HTML element that serves as a parent container for other items that you want to scroll and snap into place. Um, so when it comes to the parent container, you can add in scroll snap type. And we're going to say Y and for this first value, we'll go ahead and say mandatory. All right, so Y means it's gonna be on a vertical axis from which it's going to scroll. Um, we're also going to add overflow hyphen Y scroll. All right, now this won't work just yet. The, the, um, the, the child elements, we need to specify scroll, snap, align, and then the start, it could also be center, end as well. So. Now we can just uh, refresh this, uh, although it's, it's already hot reloading, it's already refreshed, um, and watch as I start to go into place. Awesome stuff. So as you can see, it doesn't matter where I let go, because it's mandatory, the value set at mandatory, mandatory for scroll snap type, it's going to either scroll into the next position or the previous position based on where I scrolled. Now we can also change this to uh, proximity and you'll see what happens. It's kind of a, a lesser effect in the sense that, I uh, let's go back up to the top. And if I just scroll right here, it's not going to change at all. As you can see, it'll only start scrolling to that position um, when it gets within a certain amount of proximity, as you can see here. So it doesn't completely hijack the scrolling behavior if you're using proximity as opposed to mandatory. All right. Now there's also some other values that you can use uh, in conjunction with uh, this whole scroll type or scroll snap um, properties. So for instance, if you had scroll padding you could also put top, bottom, left, and right, depending on which uh, direction you're, 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 you're scrolling. Um, we'll say at the top, we wanna add, let's just say, we'll say 150 pixels. And what this does is if we save this and we scroll down, you could see 
it snaps to a point where it's about 150 it's it is not, not about but it's 150 pixels up to the top and this is useful if you had for instance like a um, a sticky sort of a navigation that's that's staying on top or something like that now how would you also make this a horizontal scroll all right well let's go ahead real quickly um, just for the purpose of saving our previous code I'm going to change this to main2 and then I'm going to create a new file called main 2sas and we'll copy everything we have here and save that and then paste it in main 2sas so here's how we would change this up to make um, a horizontal scroll as opposed to a vertical scroll. It's very simple. Uh, so what we do first is change this to X proximity or mandatory. Let's do mandatory again. And then we'll change overflow Y to X. And then we're going to use grid a, a display grid uh, in order to align these columns, these three columns. So we'll use display grid and then grid template columns will be repeat uh, three at 100% width. All right, and then our section will be adjusted so that it's uh, the width, the width of our sections are gonna be a calc function, which is 100% width minus 14 EM as well. All right, so now we'll go ahead and save this and we could see that if we start moving this over, it now works. Awesome, awesome stuff. And if, for instance, if you had like a uh, a sticky left sidebar, you could use uh, the padding, the scroll padding left, for instance, to maintain that into view uh, as you're scrolling. All right, so hopefully you found that useful and you'll be using it going forward. I, I believe there are a polyfills for this so that you can use it today so that you can have fallbacks uh, in the future so anyhow make sure you answer today's question which is how much ram does your computer have all right i'll see you guys later bye